afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of your United States Air Force and all the air crew of Virtual Air Combat Command, we welcome you to the 2020 Virtual Festival of Aerobatic Teams. I am Virtual A-10 Demo Team Superintendent Chris Max G's Oliver from Daytona Beach, Florida. As a member of Virtual Air Combat Command's 355th Fighter Wing, located at Davis Monthan Air Force Base in Tucson, Arizona, it is my distinct pleasure to describe to you a capability demonstration by the world's most heavily armed and armored close air support aircraft, the rugged and dependable A-10 Thunderbolt II. Our mission is to provide the close air support needed for our Army, Marine, and all other allied ground forces so they can operate anywhere, anytime. Since 9-11, the United States Air Force has provided over 900,000 air missions in support of today's joint fight. The virtual A-10 demonstration pilot is Ali Calico Price from Surrey in the United Kingdom. Calico has over 10 years of flight simulator experience and over 900 real-world flying hours, including his current full-time career aircraft, the Airbus A320. The A-10 is capable of operating from much shorter runways than conventional fighter or attack aircraft. Calico demonstrated that capability today when he lifted off in only 1,500 feet. In fact, even with a 16,000-pound bomb load, A-10s can still take off in less than 4,000 feet. On this aircraft, you will notice a heritage paint scheme inspired by the Hun Hunter Texas, a World War II P-51 Mustang piloted by Captain Henry Brown, the highest scoring ace of the 355th Fighter Group. Because of its toughness, tenacity, and devastatingly good looks, the people who know it best, the pilots who fly it, and the mechanics who maintain it have unofficially dubbed it the Warthog. Air Combat Command, Pacific Air Forces, the Air Force, Air National Guard, and Air Force Reserves all fly the A-10. Ladies and gentlemen, from behind and to your right, Calico and the A-10 Thunderbolt II. Watch now as Calico pulls the A-10 straight into the vertical, demonstrating the Warthog's power and maneuverability in all attitudes of flight. Calico is now repositioning the A-10 for a pass down the show line, where he will perform a double aileron roll. During this maneuver, he will demonstrate the Hog's rapid roll capabilities by rolling his 35,000-pound aircraft at 200 degrees per second. And now, from the left, Calico displaying the Warthog's rolling maneuverability. Calico is now positioning his A-10 for a slow roll along the show line to demonstrate the Hawk's precise handling characteristics. As he rolls, you will notice this unique camouflage, the black and white invasion stripes painted on the wings and engine nacelles. These were used during the Second World War by the Allies in order to aid identification of friendly aircraft in the air and on the ground. Now from the right, the slow roll. is now performing a classic aerobatic maneuver, the Cuban 8. It is the A-10's remarkable maneuverability that enables it to perform its close air support mission. Twisting and turning low over the battlefield, the Warthog can deliver devastating firepower, destroying targets in close proximity to friendly ground forces. The A-10's arsenal includes GPS laser guided and general purpose bombs, Maverick missiles, rockets, 30 millimeter bullets, and AM-9 air-to-air missiles. All of these weapons have been used to attack enemy forces in Iraq, Bosnia, Kosovo, Afghanistan, and Syria. The A-10's two TF-34 turbofan engines add more than just power to its performance. They are much quieter than comparable engines. This makes the airplane much harder to hear and adds immensely in achieving tactical surprise. The Hogs engines are also extremely fuel efficient, enabling it to fly more than 1,000 miles without refueling. Add in flight refueling and the Warhog can fly non-stop to Europe, the Pacific, and the Middle East.
Calico is now repositioning his aircraft to perform a level 360 degree high G turn. SEA-10's quick turn rate has small turn radius, which enable it to work effectively over the battlefield, even under marginal weather conditions. just completed that turn in only 1400 feet that is less than the size of an average nascar racetrack at the well over twice the speed of your favorite driver on the battlefield this capability enables the warhawk to turn quickly and evade enemy air defenses calico is now configuring his aircraft to demonstrate the a10 slow speed control ability at its final approach speed of 120 knots get your print screen buttons ready this slow speed pass will give you a good chance to see the A-10's high bypass engines and unique tail design. These distinct features help mask the engine heat signature, aiding the pilot to defeat infrared missiles. Let's go to the cockpit of the A-10 and see if Calico has any words for us today. We'd like to thank the Virtual Air Show staff for allowing us to perform here today, as well as everyone coming out to watch. The A-10 is a premier close air support aircraft, supporting our ground forces engaged with the enemy. These forces normally include a Joint Terminal Air Controller, or JTAC, embedded in the unit. The JTAC coordinates and controls the A-10 to engage the enemy. Low altitude, tactical navigation is a core competency of every A-10 pilot. The ability to utilize terrain masking techniques in a high threat environment allows today's attack pilot to surprise unsuspecting targets using the A-10's weapon of choice, the awesome Gal-8 Avenger 30mm Gatling gun. Firing bullets the size of coke bottles at almost 70 rounds per second, its big shell delivers seven times the destructive energy of the more conventional 20mm round. Listen now as Calico obtains final attack clearance from the JTAC. Hog 1 in from the north. Hog 1, continue. Hog 1, you are cleared hot. It will now take Calico less than 30 seconds to get back into firing position. With two hogs working together, enemy forces can expect to be under A-10 fire once every 10 to 15 seconds. repositioning for his final attack where he will simulate dropping mark 82 500 pound bombs these general purpose bombs are useful for cratering airfields or destroying buildings adding versatility to the hogs arsenal of weapons is now performing a jink out maneuver this continuous changing 3d maneuver makes it very difficult for enemy anti-aircraft gunners to track the a-10 the warhog was built to withstand significant battle damage while having the capability to fly on a single engine and total loss of hydraulic power the warthog has a well-earned reputation for strength and striking power a reputation earned in kosovo afghanistan and iraq where hogs destroyed numerous enemy armored vehicles artillery sites scud missiles and was even credited with two air-to-air -air kills today the upgraded a10c armed with state-of-the-art targeting pod 
Helmet mounting queuing system, satellite communication and data link continues to set the standard for supporting today's allied forces in today's joint fight. Now from the right, Calico and a four point roll displaying the crisp handling characteristics of the A-10. Ladies and gentlemen, Calico is now repositioning his A-10 behind and to the left to set up for the dedication pass. We would like to dedicate this pass to the men and women of the armed forces and their families who support them. We would also like to remember our wounded warriors and veterans in attendance today. And finally, remember those who have given their lives defending our nations across the globe. This will be your best photo opportunity, so have your print screen buttons ready to capture this proud salute. Now, from behind and to your right, the virtual A-10 demonstration team proudly presents the dedication pass. Once again, we salute all those fighting in today's joint fight and any wounded warriors and veterans in attendance today. We especially want to thank those who have given their lives in defense of our their country and all their families which have sacrificed so much. The United States Air Force's Air Combat Command provides essential combat air support capability for today's joint fight. The attendant has consistently demonstrated its capability to fly more than four sorties per day, a tribute to the skill and dedication of our magnificent maintenance crews. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a hand to our standing maintainers and all those service members keeping our aircraft fit to fight. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's demonstration. We hope you have enjoyed this brief display of just a fraction of the A-10's full combat capability. As an integral part of the most capable Air Force the world has ever known, your A-10 Warthogs are ready to defend our nation's skies and dominate the battle space anywhere on the globe. Ready to aim high, fly, fight, and win.